Gil ratings. This is Garth Harris, the tireless adventurer, with another episode of Star Maze. This time is look what I can do. Anyways, I put this in here. This is uh, this is not a Dreadnought episode. Period. Dot. This is a Power Gen episode. I have made an 11 by 11 by 11, as you can see right there. It's actually 13 by 13 by 13 because I have it covered up because it's a secret. It's a secret. You can see it over there. But uh, it's a secret. And that's the only one here. And as you can see, I have 104,659.6. And you're thinking to yourself, Garth, that is just ridiculous. How do you expect me to believe that? The, the, the limit is 97,000, period. That's what the internet says. Therefore, it must be true. Well, this is my piece right here. And I'm going to go ahead and move it down this way a little bit. But that's what it looks like. That is what my 11 by 11 looks like. You're like, dude, that's amazing. I'm like, yeah, I know, right? It's completely amazing. Um, a couple of things that I did when I went in here, I was trying to learn. That's the first thing that I was trying to do was trying to learn. And I started looking at all these other builds. And a lot of these other builds, you know, let's say the, the five stack one, the five by five by five. The first layer and the fifth layer are identical. The second and the fourth are identical, and then the third is kind of like the pivot. And I started looking at all that, and there's a lot of those that go that way. And I was, I was trying to come up with the mentality of, all right, how is this working? And what I came up with was a system of putting as many groups as I could, like everybody else does, put as many groups as I could in one area. So I went with one group that goes all the way down that side all the way down that side and a little bit down here that's it that's one group and i was able to squeeze four of those one at each corner and then i went into the middle and i got this one and i started this one going around the the outside so i kind of filled up the gaps in between those and you know by that time i had eight groups i'm like all right so that totally makes sense so i started going from the inside out and i'll show you exactly i want a nine by eleven by nine in the remove mode uh, I want to put a block down first so I can delete it and basically that's what I started with right there this 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 design right here and I started thinking to myself well okay I definitely see some gaps and some holes and stuff like that so I started I just started like with one of these I'll put that there and I'll just come around this way and fill up on the inside for the spaces and I thought well I can do that all the way around and I'll just make each wall look like the wall to its left or right and then I started thinking well I can't just end that group right there so I'll bring it over one boom and I made it even longer and then I said well you know I can go around this way I can come over this one and this one this one and this one which would line right up with these like that and every every time I connected two groups and my power jumped up like crazy I was like well oh that's not what I wanted to do this is what I wanted to do and I started looking at this stuff and I was like holy moly and well hold on a second you got this right here I could connect these two groups but then it would also connect that group so I guess this is the best plan and then I started looking at how these were coming together and I was like well let's try just going up the middle here this is what I wanted and I started going up the middle, squeezing these in as I could. Like that. And then, of course, it led back into the the other one, which I'm starting to get a little bit of lag for some reason. But when these got into the edges, I noticed they connected here, and the power the power growth was pretty significant. So I was like, oh man, this is totally cool. I'm squeezing in all kinds of junk. So uh, when I finally got done with it, what I ended up with was, let's go with a 13 by 13 again. That's 15, not 13. That's 12, not 13. Bring that all the way down. We'll go to a copy. And uh, I'll just copy these one layer at a time so you can see it. Now the bottom layer is just um, the bottom layer. It's just all whole. And then we go to paste and you'll see this is the first layer. Oh wait, no. I did it wrong. My bad. Get out of here. 
Undo. Face mode. The bottom layer is actually brown or gray. So I gotta copy the right layer this time. That's number one. I was like, that's not number one. What are you doing, Garth? Paste it. So that was the first layer. And you can see how I kind of systematically went in, fitting them in as I could, spiraling them into the center so that I got the, the larger groups. So copy that. And uh, let me get these all laid out and I'll be right back. All right, well, there's all the layers laid out. And one thing that you'll notice is that I went away from the standard and didn't make all the layers look the same. Um, I think the closest two layers that I have would be one and six. And they're not even really that close. And I've tried squeezing blocks in different places by looking at this. I looked at it and I thought, okay, where could I squeeze a block? And I thought, okay, well, maybe if I squeezed a block, you know, right there, it would work. No, it actually went down. So, and I, I was looking at why, and that's because four and four over here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, connects it to this group, which is already connected in other places. So it basically kind of ruined groups. That's what I, that's what I was going for. Ruined groups. I would just, I, I'm blown away. Some of these designs are pretty cool. I didn't mean these. These are on, all on accident. I showed you guys how I did it. I started from the inside and started working out. That's, this is basically how I came up with it. And um, I'm actually pretty impressed with it. It's, it's all right. I've tried squeezing them in different places like right there uh, to make this group larger. But you can't because it's connected over here, which connects over here, and then you're like, wow, this is crazy. So, uh, 104, I've already forgotten the number. This is all that cutting and pasting made my brain down. Where'd you go? There you are. But uh, 104,000, that's, that's pretty sweet. I think 659 was the final last three digits I came up with. And uh, I've recorded this episode three times because every time I started cutting and pasting, I was like, I missed one. So I had to go back and fix it. And it's really hard to fix it from inside because you can't really see anything. And I'll show you here in a second. All right. So come in here like this and you're looking around and you're like, okay, I can't see anything. That's exactly what I got. Yeah. So it's 104.659.6. That's pretty nice. That's um, it's exactly what I wanted. It is exactly what I wanted. 104.659. So if you know of somebody who's done this better than me, or you yourself have a good idea what I did wrong, or what you'd like to see, you know, what you'd like to try, feel free to break it down, put it together, tear it apart, whatever. Build it up for yourself and call it a day. I'm going to put a JPEG in the description below, which has the uh, the actual layout. Um, it's probably a lot, bit, a lot easier to follow than that huge old picture. Um, even if I could get dead on it, it's still kind of difficult because it's all moving and your eyes want to run across the street or something. I don't know. So, yeah, feel free to tear it apart uh, and do what you want to do. Uh, put it together yourself, though. You can't tear apart mine. I like it. Um, let me know what you get in the comments below. If you know somebody who's done it better, let me know. Post it up. You know, Like this video up. I want everybody to see it so that everybody could have an opportunity to say, Oh, wait, wait, wait. So-and-so did it better or whatever. Or if not, man, maybe maybe they'll appreciate the crap out of it. Uh, you letting them know that this exists if 104 is indeed the best. So, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I'm just freaking tickled pink. Tickled pink. <laughs> I don't think I've I've ever I've ever come up with that much power in that little space before. So, and I've given it a shot. I've given it a shot. My goal was to create as many separate groups as I possibly could. As you can see, I did that over here. Um, eight groups were on the outside alone. And then I got like another 16 or 17 groups in here. Um, like if I go to N, or not, not N, but uh, delete, and go to the, the power recharge, 675 in 65 groups. There are a total of 65 groups in that, in that, uh, in that section. Some of those groups are individual blocks, but uh, not too many of them. I think like these guys right here are individual blocks. These guys right there. 
Um, that one, that one, that one, and that one. So, yeah, dude, just, I'm happy to share this with you. Let me know. Let me know. Comments below. Oh. See ya.